These are some of the artworks of Moyo Adeyinka. Some were sold at the exhibition for not less than 10,000 naira each. When Moyo's parents discovered he had autism 17 years ago, they were not happy. But today, the story is different because their son is making them proud. I think what was most important was the fact that we, we had the peace of God because we knew that this child was a gift from God and definitely God would take care of him. The invention of Patrick's speech in his growth was really helpful, made you know, a lot of difference. He's a wonderful boy, very intelligent. And there's something about him, he's so passionate, you know, he wants to, because maybe because of the, the brother and sister, he wants to make sure that he's not left behind. As a result of, result of that, he works so hard. Even in his academics, we have to beg him. When he starts reading like this, <laughs> you have to beg him to go and sleep. Like Moyo, many children at the Patrick's Language and Speech Centre are doing exploits. They struggle with um, schoolwork, they struggle with academics, but they have gifts other than that. So that's what gave us the courage to put this artwork together, to let the world see what they can do. On the, uh, April 2nd, we did an art workshop, getting the children to come from different areas to showcase what they can do on the spot. On the spot, because sometimes when we say the children did this, a lot of people, a lot of parents don't believe it. That is even their child's work. Just like today, a parent saw her daughter's work on, on the wall and said, no, I can't believe this. If not that, I know that he, she drew it on the spot. I wouldn't have been able to say it's my child's work. So we wanted the parents also to be encouraged that there's something, there's a gift in each and every one of these children. I'm impressed with um, the level of work I've seen here produced by the children living with autism. and. Um, I realize that uh, there's a lot, you know, beyond the uh, uh, issue they are coping with. Art. It's a way of rebranding the country. It's a way of projecting our nation. It's a way of uh, encouraging and fostering peaceful coexistence amongst our Nigerian communities. So I think that uh, um, it's high time the government, you know, looks more into art instead of uh, relying solely or mostly on. Uh, patrol and fuel as a, a foreign exchange earner. Autism is a serious development disorder that impairs the ability to communicate and interact. More than 100,000 cases of autism are recorded annually in Nigeria. In our own place, according to their challenges, we have a plan for each child. We develop a plan that will suit that child and help that child so that that child can function well in society. Although autism cannot be cured, treatment helps in managing the condition. The month of April every year is celebrated globally as Autism Awareness Month. Oshua Mowa, Daniels.